already recorded. Yeah. <laughs> so that, that is a fun don't... part of the back end. <laughs> Whatever you say is recorded. Yeah, Rob will say, don't gossip about anyone. <laughs> <laughs> All you right, gotta wait. Live, live. No, yeah. you you gotta wait. Um, the YouTube. Um, I I have the YouTube open on the screen, and it still shows four minutes before it goes live. So I let's see. wait out four minutes. Yeah, very no, wait, it's, mm. We should do the countdown. Show it. Yeah, it's live. <laughs> it's YouTube <not>? is live. <laughs> okay, okay. Let's. Oh yes, that's right. Okay, we are live. Yeah, that's good. All right. Yeah, live. Let's, let's welcome the audience first. So the opening yeah. is always good. If somebody stumbled across the live stream, they know what is this live stream is all about. Okay. Mm -hmm. Welcome to Wheel of Wellness live streaming. I'm Chrissy. And I have you see always like the left and right. I have <laughs> I have Raul here with me and I have Micah, uh, our special guest today. <laughs> Hello. Now, Hello. Hello everyone. Yeah. Now, the Wheel of Wellness Group is a platform to promote self-care, mindfulness, and well-being. So the aim of this group is to bring people together using this platform to connect, explore, share knowledge and experiences, which we aim to improve and inform well-being of physical, mental, and spiritual health for all. Please come and join us on our Facebook group, Wheel of Wellness Community. Today, we have our special guest, Dr. Michael Tan, all right? Okay, now before I introduce Dr. Michael Tan, or oh, maybe I should show that. I'm just so excited that I want to show the image that he has just showed me today because it's so absurd and it's so madness. <laughs> okay, okay, let me introduce Dr. Michael Tan first. Now, Dr. Michael Tan originally have an engineering background. But today he's doing something so totally different from like 10 years ago, whatever he's been taught. Okay. Sometimes people, I think they call him madman because he, he go into a zone that nobody is familiar with. Okay. Yes. Dr. Michael Tan. And it is a bold step that you have taken. And that is definitely because of your passion and your conviction. Okay. Now, Nobody will be able to introduce you better than yourself. So, Dr. Oh, Michael Tan, okay. I'm going to let you tell everybody <laughs> about yourself. Just take three minutes uh, to tell us how you came into this path. Okay. Go on, Michael. It's yours. Okay. Good evening, everyone. I started to ask myself at the age of 44 after a long career with power engineering where am i heading and then there are so much changes even just barely 20 years ago in the corporate world you know from civil service to the corporate eventually i decided to take the plunge and retired permanently from power engineering but little did i realize that i'm walking from a very comfortable zone to a totally strange environment which i have got no understanding no business equipment no commercial knowledge no network no friends and worse no money. when was that michael when was that how many years that ago? was when i was at age 44 that was 20 years ago wow okay yeah. right so when i left i'm now in dire straits and I realized for the next two over years, I could not find any job. Singaporean, we call it mid-year crisis. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, yes. And technically, I went into pretty bad uh, overdraft uh, for the purpose of sending enough fund for my daughter's education, right? So I was literally stressed up. And one day, I attended a workshop. Those days, you know, we have on-site workshop, not like now, we are doing online workshop. So then I have the opportunity of getting myself me being measured with Electro Meridian, which I know nothing about it at that time. And upon measuring, the re result came out was my fuel capacity was only 20% at 45. One minute, Michael. So, Michael, yes. just a minute. You have to speak English because we don't know what is this term. <laughs> What okay. is this? Um, what, what, we, okay. we can't even pronounce Patrick. Uh, 
it's known as electromeridian imaging or EAV, the technical mm. name, right? So electromeridian imaging is a modernization of the Chinese physician taking pulse using current. Oh, okay. So okay. it's like a form of EEG that collect data of the heart, but an electromeridian collect data of my fuel capacity, how long I will be able to last. I mean, how long okay. you'll be able to live? Yes, live or last. I mean, oh how gosh. long can I perform if efficiently? I didn't know Just somebody like our... lifespan can be measured. Well, that's crazy. Uh, you can't really say exactly how long, but just like a cell phone battery, when you're left with 20%, you probably have to start to worry where is your next place to charge your battery if you're on the highway, <laughs> right? Oh, and yeah. if, if, yes, yes. <laughs> if you're on the highway and you don't have a USB port that's going to charge your phone, and soon your phone GPS, your connectivity will be cut off in another, you know, half an ah. hour to one hour. So at sense. 45, knowing that I may live at least another 30 years, you know, based on Singapore statistics, yeah. and I only have 20% petrol or battery power in my body, <laughs> and being a power engineer, I say, no, 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 that is no joke. <laughs> I'm not going to last very long. Even those days, we are not as sophisticated as our mobile phone today. You know, those days, the phone was just used for calling, and you still have pager. So, yeah. you know. Oh, my God. That's so, that, that is so ancient. That is so dinosaur so and that was very just 20 years ago so the next thing i did was i went to the company and said can i work for you because i really like what i saw because is, i know that many of Micah, us yes. Micah, is this a singapore company it was a singapore company oh interesting okay yes, okay yes. it was too ahead of time so when mm. i reported for work for the next six months i realized that i sold zero machine why the medical world are not allowed to use it because it's a TCM product. Mm. The traditional TCM guru, they just use their hand. They don't need to spend money because they spend years learning how to use their hand. <laughs> and then suddenly I'm just 20 years ahead trying to get the physician to modernize. So they say, no, uh, you know, I, uh, for us, it's one second, I know your health. Right, but I'm telling them that, you know, you have always been writing and whereas the Western world have been collecting data, saving the data, um, looking at track record, but the TCM did not. But still, it was an old culture, an old world. Right, but is, of course, is I... This, is this kind of topic originate from Western country culture? Um. Yes, okay. Traditional Chinese medicine, you know, is as old as uh, Indian Ayurveda, 5,000 years. And yeah. then traditional Chinese medicine, uh, they call it Wang Ti Nei Jing or Yellow Emperor Classic, another 5,000 years, right? Mm. However, in 1947, Dr. Reinhard Wolf from Germany, while playing with electro point, he met up almost all the meridian point without knowing that they were the electro meridian point or acupuncture point. Mm. And he called it bioactive point. But eventually, he, when he met up with the East, the Japanese, they realized they're talking the same thing. That was the birth of modernizing. How oh, interesting. Traditional now, Chinese. One tradition. minute, one minute. We're just ahead of us now. We have, yes. like, Raul, like, I have so many questions to ask Dr. Michael. Don't say it out now. So we are ahead of us. Just wait sure. a minute. Now, there are people who have uh, on our Facebook Live now, and they're asking because you just mentioned about charging, like uh, our body. Yes, like yes, charging I saw some question. Yeah, so and they're asking, do we need to fully charge to last longer? I think that is something that. That, you... that is a very good question. So I would like to put it in a different perspective before I answer directly. Yeah. Every morning, do we need our handphone to be fully charged to last the whole day? Oh, yeah. All right. right. <laughs> and then, sense. Do we need to fill our car fully to last, let's say, 500 kilometers, which may last us 10 days, depending on your travel? Ah, right. So, okay. do we need to make sure that our bank account are fully charged so that we can live quality of life? <laughs> That's for sure. That's for sure. Okay. Yes, now, yes, but yes, you're right. going to tell us how to in a minute, okay? But, Raul, yes. let me show you what Dr. Michael Tan has shown me today. I'm like, okay. I, have I was, to show I was you waiting on that. Okay, let me just share, show the screen. <clears throat> yeah. 
Here we go. Can you see yes. this? He sent me an image this morning on a WhatsApp, and he yeah. showed me this image. Now, Dr. Michael, where is this? You... Wait, 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 where is this image? What is this place? Okay, this is uh, my house. Um, okay. I wake up usually around 5.30 to 6, so, you know, the sky is still not very bright. And this morning, I decided to just see whether can I capture any what we call OPS energy or OBS. So to some, OPS energy may be referred to your own personal guardian angel or your connectivity to the vibrational field. Right. So this morning I was technically very happy uh, to capture the very big white ops there. Right. And uh, amazingly, to the, tonight we are talking about energy field. So yeah, yeah. this morning, the guardian angel, the energy field came to visit me <laughs> in simple terms. Wow. Nice. How interesting. You see this this spear here? That is yes. what he has seen. Is is that is it possible to view this in like normal visual eyes uh we can't you need um all of you can give it a try later um when it's a bit darker 11 switch off most of the light you can leave a little bit of night light mm. turn on your video in your mobile phone and mm -hmm. then turn on the fresh and then wait for about three minutes at least Many of you should receive your guardian angel. Repeat that again, Michael. Repeat. What do we do? Okay. Repeat that again so Turn that the audience can keep it. Yeah. Your video in your mobile phone. Okay. 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 Turn on the flashlight. Okay, the flashlight. Okay. Yes, and then keep the room moderately dark, whether it's the bedroom or the hall. Keep it moderately dark with okay. one or two night light is perfectly okay. Got and it. then once your fresh light is on, activate your video. Okay. And let it run for three to five minutes. Right. For okay. those who have not been connected, it may take a bit of time. Yeah. For your guardian energy to appear. But for those which I believe uh the wellness community like uh, Master Jubilee and many others, for them is instantaneous because they are already ah. connected, right? Yeah. And you can only see it when it is on video because it comes so fast and it moves up so fast. So there's not no time for you to talk, 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 talk because you don't know when and which angle. <laughs> the, oh, that's uh, why you have to put it on a running video to capture yes, it. Yes, then after that later, you can freeze it to capture you know and then all those who have seen it can then share together with us oh so God. that you know more and more people will be able to open their energy field to receive and to communicate with your own guardian angel or the energy field of higher uh vibrational level wow. okay so what if what if i i have a moderately dark room tonight i yes. put my camera on a stand Yes. I put it on video mode, I put the flash on, and then I record mm -hmm. for five to eight minutes. Mm -hmm. And if I don't see anything, what does that mean? Does that mean like my battery is zero? <laughs> or what does it mean? <laughs> oh, no. Your battery is fully charged, but your signal communication is not fully activated yet. Oh, man. <laughs> do, do, the, do the spiritual world call that like um, third eye? Do they? Um, do they beyond, do that? Okay, third eye are for people who are specially trained. They will probably see with their visual eye, right? Yeah. But for people like all of us, uh, like my background is engineer, so I literally cannot feel. I literally cannot see. <laughs> I have got no sense of what is right in front of me. So I have to rely on technology. Mm. But if okay, technology so can help us to see, that'd be great. Yeah. Yeah. It is. Well, in fact. Yeah, Rahul. Go ahead, go ahead. No, no, go yeah. ahead. Just finish that. In fact, um, I lost about a thousand video. If not, I can send an amazing video that I captured in Sanya, Hainan, when I was in the beach at about 7 p.m. So the beach was pretty dark, but far away they have, you know, high hotel building with some light. So I wanted to capture the nice scene. But that particular moment in 2019 April, I captured a whole different dimension. Means I did a 360 degree shot and 
all the vibrational field was actually dancing with me. So I actually entered a different portal and yet I was physically on the same place. But another portal opened up in front of me. I mean, wow. technically, if I'm not been into this um, journey, I would have freaked out because right in front of your camera, you see a whole portal open up. It was an amazing sight. So um, I'm going to try and salvage so that everybody can experience it together. But um, unfortunately, maybe, you know, I kept it long enough and um, he decided to take it back. <laughs> okay, so I have a question for you, Michael. Um, yes. Prior to your realization with, uh, you know, uh, this subject, what kind of life were you living in Singapore? Did you did you have your life connected, surrounded by electronic devices? Uh, you know, before you get in the subject of geopathic stress, uh, okay, how was your first, environment? Yes, for the first twenty four years, I was surrounded by high power cable, high power transformer, high power switch for twelve hours a day. <laughs> yeah, because um, I was in the grid management. And uh, early days Singapore, we experienced power failure every one hour while we are in the industry, not the consumer. So okay. technically, we are working around the clock, you know, to repair, to restore, to um, provide temporary power when there's a failure, right? Of course, in my journey, I was electrocuted by 230 volt, which I didn't die. Um, <laughs> Even worse, I was electrocuted by 6,600 volt, which I flown about 10 feet. But luckily, it was not wow. a live power. It was a charged power cable that we were testing. So it didn't have enough energy to kill me, but it threw me 10 feet off the place I was standing. Oh, <laughs> so probably because of some of these incidents, I actually have an altered body with an altered <laughs> mind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh so goodness, I was surrounded yeah. with um, up to 22,000 and occasionally up to 230 kilovolt uh, substation that I work in the environment. Wow. Okay, I, I don't yeah. understand the difference between walls and wattage. So I'm just going to go with yeah. whatever you said is really powerful yeah. and we should not play with yeah. it. Because yeah. that <laughs> makes sense. <laughs> the, the, the watt is power which yeah. is the summation of the voltage and the current equal to the power known as watt. Yeah. So watt is the final thing that consume. Like our, our above is 100 watt. So you consume yeah. 100 watt of power. Yeah. So we human beings consume a lot, lot more because we got a hundred years lifespan and uh, we have one <laughs> hell of a big battery bank. <laughs> we often see from movie, right? How these people yeah. being charged with electro, like oh, yes. electricity, yeah. and then they become like superpower. <laughs> Qua oh, yeah. is here. Qua, you have a competitor. You know, Michael. I think he's one of the like you know Avenger. You know. <laughs> <laughs> and I okay, love, so I love to watch Marvel. Yeah, I love to watch Marvel. This is very inspiring for my journey. Yeah. Twelve hours a day, you were spending around these really powerful machines. Okay. And then how how does how does that impact? I mean, now that you look back, comparing yourself to say maybe someone like me or Chrissy, how does that impact your life? Okay, I would say the first twenty four years was preparing me for the next twenty years journey, where when I work with the grid, I have to understand the amount of capacity that each substation can provide to an estate. And if the estate exceeds the capacity, everything starts to be damaged or meltdown or trip off, right? And also, we also need to know that the infrastructure of the cable to the estate all have to be efficient, right? So when I departed and when I start to look at human power or human biological battery, suddenly I realized that um, we are in the same platform but on a different scale so our nervous system our signaling our brain our thought our eeg emg are all electrical impulse that can be captured through technology to see how the body <clears throat> acts or how the heart works how the brain works and we know from all the early day scientists the biologist that every cell have a potential just like our home in uk in singapore we work on 230 volt 
So yeah. we human being work on 70 milli volt. That's the optimum voltage. So in the event that when you are training for, let's say, triathlon, Iron Man, or you want to be Shaolin Qi Kong master, you need to raise your voltage from 70 to 200 milli volt so that you are no more ordinary. You know, you can send Qi across the air because you are now high power. Right. So when you're but saying sorry, when you're saying seventy milliwatts, that's like for an average human. Uh, this is the technical spec for human being. Means okay. all normal human being, our base operating voltage or resting voltage is minus seventy millivolt. But when okay. you want okay. to okay. get the gold medal in the Olympic, you need to raise your potential to two hundred millivolt. Right, wow, but okay. there's only that long you can last. Just like imagine if the home in India, in UK, in Singapore, when our voltage go to 250, 260, what happened to all our bulb and computer? Not compatible, well, right? Everything burn out because it's but, no okay, voltage. Yeah, because yeah. it's yes. not compatible, yeah. Yes, and if it drop to 200, we will have fuzzy screen. We have uh, light flickering. Eventually, it will also burn out because it's not working, right? So we human being the same, but we have a huge tolerance. We can work up to 200 if you are athletic and you can drop up to 30 millivolt uh, when we enter the world of weakened health, thing like um, dermatitis, uh, eczema, psoriasis, arthritis, high blood pressure, high sugar. All these are due to voltage drop and the body is inefficient. So Michael, anymore. do you... That somebody in the Facebook chat, oh, Sheila is the one who asked. Now, do you also call that aura, vibration, energy? Is that like in the term that we more understandable? Are, are these yes. the same relevant? To, to most people, you will use aura, especially those that come from the uh, Indian culture. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And of course, many Westerners also accept aura as the auric field. So the aura is a summation of many fields coming together based on your life force or your energy that generate. So in simple term, it's like you have enough money known as the power, you can build a very strong army. Okay. When you have got, and the army is the aura. When you don't have enough money, you cannot have good enough army so you have certain spot that you don't have people to look after so that is weakened aura due to the power engineering drop so it's similar thing expressed in um the chinese call it different, chi. Yeah, um, yeah, different term. Uh, some people may know it as prana or pranic healing uh, some yeah. people may call it reiki mm. Uh, mm. Some people may call it um, what they call frequency healing. Uh, sometimes they call it even chakra versus aura. So aura is the total summation. Chakra is the individual control point of the energy field. Yeah. So you have seven ministry to control your complete auric field. It's, it's very sense. interesting, yeah, Raul. You know, yeah, he he's really talking about really technical terms, scientific terms yeah. to measure certain thing, but yet it's really. Um, the same language as the ancients healing aura, the chi in Chinese is actually all related, but they he have actually converted it into a very scientific term to let people really understand, you know. Yeah, and I like how um, uh, Dr. Michael's, you know, he's very well aware of what each culture calls it and how they practice it, yeah. because that makes a huge difference. Because you know that 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 kind of I think makes him understand the subject matter right down to the DNA yeah. level of the subject. Call it whatever you may, but he just understands the whole game. That's very interesting. It's universal. It's universal. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So it quantified yeah. now with scientific proven term, which is yes. very strong yeah. so evidence. Right, right which is in Singapore, yeah. I spent the last 20 years uh, measuring electro meridian so that I can see the total summation from a TCM perspective. And I have other machines that measure the auric field so I can see it from a different culture perspective. At the same time, I can also see the chakra, uh, how big, how small, and how aligned, right? So I can see from a chakra perspective. But at the same time, I can see it from the 12th meridian and I can also see it from a very simple um, economic means your stress versus your stability, right? So if you're very stressed up, 
you may heighten your energy before it collapses, right? But if you continue stress, eventually you will burn out the battery. Just like a mobile phone in the poor Wi-Fi environment, you have to pump up a lot of power to communicate if you don't have another better spot. And in three to four hours, you're going to drain 80% of your battery. So we are always living in this highly disturbed environment in the 21st century. From the air we breathe, uh, because we spend 90% indoor, we become an indoor generation. So if you are out in the country, you are better off. But we are in city, so every year we may have our neighbor burning the forest, so you know we get contaminated air for a few months, right? And then indoor, we live on recycled air, and we don't even know what is the quality of air we breathe. Every day, we breathe in 18 kilograms of air, and we do nothing about it, and we start talking about organic food, organic water, <laughs> healthy water. We talk about, you know, uh, liver detox, and yet we do nothing about the air we breathe from birth to death. Oh, I didn't see strange? that coming. I did so, not see that coming. So, Michael, does it mean if I get out, I get out to the nature, the general well-being is better? It's because of the quality air that I'm breathing. Provided you get out of the city. <laughs> ah, okay, okay. Yeah, because now, the city don't have enough greenery to filter. You know, Singapore, we are very fortunate. You know, it's like a garden city. But even that, for example, I open my window for fresh air. But that's not <laughs> means it's clean air. You see, the difference is fresh air is not equal to clean air. So I have a 24-7 monitoring device in my home, in my clinic. And the moment I open the window, within 10 minutes, usually your PM 2.5 means particulate, very small dust particle will start to spike when I open the window. So while you have fresh air, but that's not means you have clean air. Right, right, right. Now, Raul, you want to see something that Dr. Michael Tan has done for me? It's something yeah, that yeah. freaked me out as well. Just a minute, let me share with... It's like, I love and hate him at the same time, okay? Because sometimes <laughs> we don't want to know the truth. But yeah, like, we don't once we know, know the, the truth, truth, like, oh, it sucks. I have, I have so many questions for him because um, if you remember last week, he, he had a conversation with us. Uh, yeah. And, about and, the water uh, element yeah and he did the water experiment and i told him when we did the experiment i said listen you're talking to a skeptic i will try my best to find scientific answers yes to <laughs> prove things wrong yes and 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 you should have i mean i'm sure you guys saw my face i was just like what the hell just happened <laughs> 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 Maybe Rawi, you want to tell the ancient audience knowledge, ancient wisdom. Yeah. Rawi, yeah, tell so, the audience what we done. It's yeah, it, it was it was pretty simple. It was pretty easy. Uh, Dr. Michael said, "Okay, we were we were having a completely different conversation, and then somehow the 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 conversation segued into his field of expertise, and then he says." Really quickly, if you guys don't mind, you know, I can show you an experiment to prove things to you over the internet. And I was like, I don't even know where this is going, but let's just go with this. <laughs> we get two glasses of water, regular drinking water from the house, nothing to do with temperature, whatever regular drinking water. One I keep in front of me like this, in front of this camera. And mm -hmm. the other glass goes behind my screen. Okay, the screen I'm sitting at and looking at these guys, it goes behind my screen. And the glasses just sit there and Dr. Michael takes out his cell phone and he just opens up this flash and the flash just starts flickering for about a good 15, 20 minutes. That's all he did. And while that was happening, he just kept explaining what he was trying to do. And after 15 minutes, he said, you know, sip the glasses of water and exactly like what he's showing right now. And he says, sip, uh, you know, sip the glass, uh, the, gla uh, the water from the glasses and tell me if you notice any difference. And, and my reaction was, there's something seriously wrong over here because <laughs> this is not happening. And long story short, there was a difference. The water that was behind the screen felt heavier and denser on, when, it, when it went down my throat. And the water which was in front of the screen this felt a little smoother and lighter. And I I just had a brilliant idea. I think that was the best way to age whiskey. Yeah. <laughs> Even why? Cheap wine. Just just dial in and you send a signal. Ten minutes later, you have aged wine. <laughs> wow. but, but that worked. 
that worked and and then Chrissy go ahead and show what he showed what what he's done okay. for you and I'll, I'll tell people yeah. about so because the, recently uh because of my business in Singapore uh, we have to move warehouse so I get Michael to look at some of the uh the chart you know the floor plan that I intend yeah, to move yeah. but at the same time he also look at my house and my god it was like the he was measuring some geopathic stress level in each of the unit but i'm not sure i'm not sure is it because some older house have higher geopathic stress than the others i'm not sure but let me show you one of the map that he showed us it's very interesting because it's is uh we're all very familiar with the term feng shui like you know the chinese way of auditing the house wellness and stuff like that but this geopathic stress is very specific so let me show you and then maybe he can explain to you what he have done yeah he did the same for my apartment and it was pretty interesting okay so you look Whoa. this is the this is the like uh, i have a floor plan of the area that i want to move to right and literally he was drawing all these grids and charts and telling me <laughs> is this place is no good you know it's like <laughs> hey like oh my god what is up to you know so but he also managed to tell me which are the location have the highest stress level as well maybe michael Michael, you'll be a better person to explain to us what is this chart really all about and how can the audience benefit if they understand uh, their environment is causing them in any way, you know, that's not making them healthy. Yes. Okay, before we go into this uh, more unique topic, we first have to come to a certain understanding. We as a human, we are very similar to a very advanced technology known as a mobile phone, right? So like every instrument that we have created from the car to the plane, to the supercomputer, to the satellite that flew beyond Pluto, there are three basic sectors in every engineering design, including the human, right? Of course, I'm not the designer. He's up there, <laughs> right? So you have what we call the intelligence, which control the system and enable you to live your life but you also have the hardware the system right that keep you functioning just like a car without the intelligence the car is going nowhere but the car can be start and it stay put right of course soon we have autonomous car right then you have what we call the power the power the future of electric car will give us a very good understanding that you can have a car, you can have the best autonomous CPU, 5G, GPS, you can have the best driver sitting inside, but your battery is flat, so you're going nowhere, right? Now, the human being is uniquely designed for a 100 years journey. And the only thing that allows you to experience this journey in totality be it good, bad, fantastic, horrible, you are highly dependent on what we call the life force capacity, or sometimes I call it the human biological battery. But in terms of the biological battery, they are the capacity that keep the battery functioning until let's say 80 years old, current standard. But at the same time, it has the voltage that keep day-to-day -day operation. You no, know, the ability to eat, ability to move the power, ability, you know, to uh, feel hot, feel cold. Most important, the ability to regulate your thermal dynamic. All this require power, which is sometimes known as life force, known as uh, chi, known as prana. Yeah, right. So now we fully break down the human, like a machine, into three sectors. So one of the very important thing we have to first come to term is that like every computer, you have the CPU in a chip with the best Intel, but you don't have a PC body. Can the chip work? No, Obviously, no, no. it can't. Yeah. Now, you have a CPU with the hard disk, with everything, but you don't have the brain, the CPU. You can turn on, but is the computer going to go anywhere? Maybe, yes, maybe no, but most of the time, the computer will need the basic OS that's already embedded, right? But if you unplug the battery or you buy and you forgotten to charge and you go, you know, early morning rush from, uh, let's say, from Delhi to Bombay for a 
important meeting and you, you, you turn on the computer, you realize you didn't charge last night and you cannot power it up and you, did, you didn't bring the power line. So you cannot present anything at all, right? While each of them are independent, but they are also interdependent. So the birth of energy, human biological battery, life force, chi, pranic or prana, not pranic, prana, whatever you want to call it, give birth to the function, which is the organ, the system, right? And the system are relying on the intelligence to make, when we are sleeping, we are still breathing, so to manage it. And daily, we know what we want to do, right? So the body is like a car. The intelligence, sometimes you may call it the soul, the spirit, is like the driver inside the car. And you remove the battery pack, you are going nowhere. But the moment your battery is in optimum, it only enables the rest of the function to start functioning. It's not going to override it. But again, you cannot have over voltage. Just like our cell phone is designed for 9 volt. If you plug in a 12 volt battery, your cell phone goes kaput, right? But at the same time, you have a 9 volt cell phone battery. You plug in a 4.5 volt. There's not enough power to power it up. So where does all this power come from? We know that the body comprises of trillions of cells. Every cell is a power generator, right? And <coughs> Historically, you have what we know as the circadian rhythm. Means from six, the sunset starts rising. We start waking up. Then we go to the field. We work, and then by the evening, the sunset, civilization go to sleep immediately, right? So likewise, like our cell phone, every night you come back home. Latest, maybe before you sleep, you plug in your charger. Right, to charge the mobile phone. So next day, the mobile phone is able to work. No different from a human being. The only thing it didn't have enough intelligence to self-charge, a human being had to do it. So likewise, where did our charge come from for human? It was known throughout civilization, from the Mayan to the Aztec to the Egyptian, across that when we are sleeping, the earth generate an earth current which was not known until 1953 discovered by w o schumann a german austrian physicist in his classroom they were working out the earth tension between the ionosphere and the surface of mother earth and eventually they concluded that this tension is 7.83 hertz and later, they realized 30 years earlier, another German discovered the alpha frequency, which is similar to 7.83, which incidentally is the same frequency that managed, sometimes we call it the third eye or the pineal gram. Right? Wow. So there are two components that repair and charge the body. One is that when you're sleeping, the earth current is supposed to charge the cell and the cell can absorb nutrient, air, water to produce power for the cell to repair. But at the same time, the 7.83 alpha frequency is supposed to stimulate the pineal gland to produce melatonin for the repair of cellular function. It's the form of super antioxidant or electron replacement. However, today, if we look at a typical city, we have light across from morning, you go to work to at night, you return home. You find that many major cities use white light even at night until 10 p.m. And today, white light using LED, it emits a spectrum of Blu-ray beside yeah. the mobile phone, beside the computer yeah, yeah. screen besides sideboard besides street lamp but we are now indoor so you will notice that the light i mean fortunately i see rahul light uh for chisi you're still having daylight but you can see my room light i'm using orange light because it is very close to a candle spectrum right so it's imagine daylight right yeah Imagine when you have daylight at night, 10 o'clock, and by the time you go to sleep, your brain still thinks it's daytime. 
By the uh-huh. time you switch off, it could be four hours later before melatonin is being produced. It's early morning, you are waking up. Mm-hmm. So you don't have enough melatonin. According to National Institute of Health, American Medical Association, um, Harvard University, University of Exeter, 2011 study and all the white paper being produced is over exposure to white light or daylight suppress the production of melatonin increasing the risk of cancer diabetes obesity cardiovascular disease by 50 percent so but our environment really screws us up don't we yes so but wait, wait, wait. By, by how many percent what was that by how many 50%, percent 50 percent five zero I zero. Bloody yes, hell. I zero. That is a lot. That's how yeah. I'm. Chrissy, I need to stop doing this. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. Okay. Wait, next time so, we use candle, Raul. <laughs> we just put candle yeah, around. We, we have to switch over to candle. <laughs> yeah, so very important is remember the air is 18 kilograms a day. We know nothing about it, the quality. The light that control our sleeping rhythm that give birth to the signal for the body to heal and repair. We are in the wrong lighting condition from morning to night, including a long hour with the mobile phone today. You know, the young people, the Instagram, the TikTok. Yeah. Uh, and what is even more challenging, <laughs> we have entered the online generation. So everybody leave, order, work, you know, manage. Yeah. Everything from your e-commerce, all using your computer or your mobile phone. So yeah, it becomes indispensable, be, isn't it? Indispensable, yeah. right? Then next is when you are sleeping, you need the earth current to charge us. Just like when our when we put our mobile phone on the charging plate. So our bed is the charging plate, and mm-hmm. Mother Earth current seven point eight three is the charging frequency. So does it doesn't mean those who live higher floor they don't get charged oh, yeah <laughs> it's so uh, far away from go, the ground the higher you go the more challenging actually Whoa. Oh, and, and, and these guys are paying so much more money to go higher on the buildings yeah that's right in, hey, just, in singapore it's all high-rise building what they're gonna do you can't do anything see in all major city mm. based on classical feng shui you want to go to the city which is very prosperous, right? Mm. Because everything is value. So, example in Singapore, we love to buy house one, two, three million near to MRT station or MTL station. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So the more prosperous the city, the more infrastructure. The more infrastructure, the more mother earth current is get distorted so that's why you have never heard of the great guru go to the city to cultivate their health or to meditate they all go up to the mountain far away from city. <laughs> <laughs> but but michael you know recently you did a charting for me for my environment i actually live on the ground floor. I live in a house which is near the ground. But the geopatric stress is still very high. So it's not just yes. high floor or ground floor, right? It's a uh, also is it the how old is the land or is it where you live that's near any Yeah crazy high? let's 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 see let's see that 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 diagram of yours and that that Dr. Michael explain what's going on over there. Yeah, I think Michael, I'm more can you curious say about that. This? Yeah. Uh, you call you, up the you, plan yeah. then we can share with everybody. Ooh, so now we know why Chrissy is seeing ghosts in her house. <laughs> hey. no, this is not my house yet, but mine is worse. This is a unit that I wanted to rent, and Michael yeah. have said that the, the toxic is quite high, but mine is yeah. even worse. So I've been yeah, bugging my husband to move house. <laughs> now, so what um, are we looking at, Michael, over here? One. Yeah. Yeah, a very fast one. The red line that I drawn on this is known as the Hartman grid, discovered in the later part of the 18th century by Dr. Hartman from Germany. Okay. Right? The blue line, which is always diagonal of 45 degrees to the vertical horizontal line, is known as the Curry grid. 
again discovered slightly later than Hartmann, also German, in the latest part of the 18th century. While there are many other more complex Greek, these are the two main most dense Greek in every home that you can't escape. So, in simple terms, these Greek are like the wired in the charging plate that charges us. However, when this grid and the frequency from Mother Earth get distorted because a train just shoot across, so you get out. And imagine if you are living on the 15th floor, if you go and calculate, you've got 14 floor below you, and every bed below you may have a barb, may have a cable. And if you are living in an apartment, you go down to a basement car park and you look up the area where your bedroom, you may have the sewer line, you may have the cab uh, cable line, you may have the telecom line, right? So imagine now, every floor, every infrastructure, when this earth current that give birth to life, divide one percent per change per floor per line so by the time it hit you you may have a 15 percent deviation like in uh chrissy case her home is almost a 700 time deviation i want to move wow. house <laughs> yeah. and, 700 yeah. times yeah and in very, this very 700 high. time remember you need to sleep in the same place where if I, if you look at the map, where I draw the circle with the yellow line, yeah, all this means is... that there is a potential four line cross. So if there's a four line that cut your heart, when you sleep in the same place for 30 years, let's say from birth, uh, one years old to 30, by the time you reach 35, you may already be suffering from extremely high blood pressure. And eventually, you may even have a heart attack. So wow. here you start to realize that nothing occurred yesterday. It takes us an average of 30 to 40 years sleeping on the spike for the next 30 years, averagely every day beyond six hours. So there's no other place that can hurt you badly in terms of health. The only place is your bed or today it is the place that we sit for hours. We so got a question someone, for you, yeah. Dr. Michael. Ask yes, uh, Himalayan lamp help to neutralize vibrational field from the surface but it doesn't work on electrical current um many a time we may use many products that i've seen that have tested over the last seven years i mean i've traveled to st petersburg to siberia we have um space auditor as far as saudi uh right down to south africa and then on the other side we have clients from australia right now to um new york and we have seen that the energy field in the world is all multi-dimension right just like the chakra is seven chakra and that is only the basic it's actually more than that right so every product we have in the market may address one or rather a it may address ace it may address def right so this become very challenging for us to understand the complexity of using engineering to manage field that may not be able to be measured with engineering tools just like geomagnetic or earth current it's so subtle that it's so challenging to measure it not that it cannot but it's very challenging so eventually throughout civilization especially in the farming community from australia to germany to france to uk to south america everybody have restored to using dowsing to mm -hmm. measure earth energy for the purpose of ensuring that the cattle gaze in a correct area and animals are very sensitive to earth current so i'm going to see whether um, i can send a short documentary uh produced by uk uh many years back i have to edit it then i will forward it um, to, so to the no, group. We are 
we are into we are 45 minutes into our live stream and we hardly right. scrap a, you know this knowledge that michael tan is sharing there's still so many things that you know we want to learn from him what shall we do raul <laughs> it's like i i have you know, i have day. two more questions <laughs> uh, please please raul yeah so one one question that i have for you is you know listening to everything you said and then you know how we need to move to a city which is both prosperous that is what you know human race has now moved to you know you move to places where there's more prosperity material prosperity if i can use yes. that word it is not practically possible to live in an environment which is completely stress free from no, uh, geo geopathic stress right not possible what is the acceptable range of toxicity according to you i mean okay over the seven years um after doing about 10000 audit with about 3000 actual installation to regulate the field we have found based on anton bovis again 18th century the german who discovered bovis which is a numerical measurement of dowsing until mm -hmm. anton all dowsing is like a pendulum. You only give you the answer yes, no, yes, no, yes, no. It doesn't give you a value, right? He came up with a value, right? So when I started um, in modern day, being an engineer, I also need to see value. Without value, I really don't know what to do, <laughs> right? So over the 10,000, we have seen a classic. If your house or when your house is experiencing zero to 50 unit of vibration, you are in a safe spot. But that okay. does not mean you'll be in the safe spot for three to five because your surrounding is going to tear, okay. build, tear, yeah, build. Yeah, if there's a pylon and that's it, you're yes. gone. Yeah. Right. And then we see an average home across the world, maybe about 50%, usually it's about um, 50 to 200, means they are beginning to enter a toxic period. Right. So that will give you an average of 15, 20 years if you are carrying on staying there without experiencing any small subtle changes, including ache and pain, uh, you know, arthritis, strictness, stress, insomnia, uh, lack of focus, uh, forever, um, you know, poor relationship. Yeah. Now, the moment we enter, 100 to 500 is the beginning of a toxic space and that you have about 15 years and then when you enter 500 to 1000 which christy your place is between 100 to 5000 you <laughs> enter tell him how to move the house space. pressurizing him to move the house <laughs> but yeah so, you don't yeah. have to we have we have discovered the right. gift you know um to, to develop a solution so 100 to 500 you only have approximately 10 years but most people may start developing acute small little challenges ache and pain or sometimes um you know not smooth in business um a, a recent friend of mine he lost about five million dollars just oh. barely two years uh, two three years ago because his house have hit about 800. so oh, some wow. people may experience financial loss some people <clears throat> in fact most people would probably experience health and wellness challenge first right but sometimes your constitution is strong and you don't always sleep in the same spot. You may sleep in the hall, you may sleep, you know, there are some people who don't sleep in the same spot. So then it may manifest into relationship or financial, but that is not my focus because I'm into health and wellness. So my main focus is to find the root that give birth to the sustainability of a quality journey. And we need to stabilize this charge every night so that we can last as long as we don't get our COE expired. You know, in Singapore, <laughs> our car is 10 years. Yeah, yeah. Right? Very good. Now, Micah, Micah, mm. now let Raul ask the last questions. And yeah. you know, you have this wealth of knowledge. I bet the audience wanted to connect with you. Uh, sure. Unfortunately, we have such a short time. We cannot, we want to dig out all your knowledge. We probably should have you come back again and it's tell us the specific knowledge that the, the audience wanted to hear. Maybe let's, like, Rowe, you have one more question for Dr. Michael? Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, it's, it's been great listening to you and, you know, it's just so, a very yeah. fascinating, it's fascinating amazing. subject. And topics like this, I get really intrigued because I just have this... We just cannot have enough. I just want to know. I just want to know, right? <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm, still I'm still researching 
It's mind so, blowing. It's something so different that we never heard about. You know, it's really yes. It is something that have been known to civilization since the birth or since written um, history as early as um, Stonehenge, and um, in the in the next probably workshop, um, we will run through some pictorial of how, <laughs> part three. Yes, part three. How civilization have already known how to tune this earth current in balance. You have been yeah, known. Yeah. And um, when I first got into the research, and when I saw what was out there, it broke my mind. I said, all major civilization known it. And today, we know nothing about it. <laughs> I know. We from your conversation with you today, we in fact we only know a little bit of it, and it's really like so intriguing. Raul, ask your questions. Yes. So I have I have my last question, and Michael, please be as honest as you can over here. Okay. Please. Very very <laughs> serious question. <laughs> this is our wild serious serious question time. <laughs> so how many how many of your friends think you're completely crazy? <laughs> uh, my 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 family think I'm crazy. Uh, that's the worst part. <laughs> so I never involve any member of my home and relative. I only work with people who do not know me, so they give me a penalty. <laughs> Imagine I wake up at four thirty to brew coffee for the last seven months. Do you think I'm crazy? <laughs> that's how crazy I am. That's yeah, amazing. That's Michael, we, we really want to thank you. It's such a pleasure having you here today. And we know that you have been so generous. You want to give a free gift to the audience, right? Yes, please. Yes. So because of all this valuable knowledge that Michael is sharing with us today, now he's going to... Uh, Michael, why don't you tell us what you're going to give the audience then? Okay, very simple. I would love to openly offer to everyone a gift of love, number one, send us or to Rahu or to Chrissy your floor plan. Now, make sure your floor plan, when you take a photo, you have to be straight, not, you know, like that. So you can download a software known as Cam Scanner. So even if you take at the angle, you press, it will align it. Yeah, number one. Number two, because I'm doing remote auditing, like any computer mobile phone i will need your ip if not i can't reach you <laughs> okay so right. you can see now there's um this is michael email you can actually send that floor plan to this email to direct to him otherwise you can send it to our email and we can forward to michael for you yes yeah so it will be good actually um because we are a community and I would love everything to be forward to, let's say, Rahul and Chrissy, so that we can keep track of every plan that come in. The purpose is to better my research and at the same time for more people to experience that the moment you stabilize this erratic field, so far in seven years, we have found 80% of family, number one, their emotion, their health, their sleep, everything start to improve. This is a gift not from me, but from the creator, right? So I only need you to put in your address. You don't even need to give me your name, but it's good to have the name. If not, we don't know who you are. You know, <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. impossible for Chrissy to keep track, yeah, right? Yes, yes. So you just have to write your name on the plan, your address, so that in remote audit, it's just like an IP, I can tap straight in, even though I'm in Singapore. And of course, for those who do not understand dowsing, there could be another, you know, session on dowsing, right? But I believe the wellness community, most people understand dowsing, you know, the simple pendulum, right? Except that I don't use pendulum for geopathic stretch because it's very challenging to use a pendulum. So I use a lacquer antenna, which is known as a Y rod, right? So all I need is a straight plan and ideally draw a rectangle of your bedroom draw a circle of your head where you sleep so that we can pinpoint any cross stress or we call it a deep vortex and once you have it a small percentage of home you may be able to adjust your bed or sleeping area but 95 percent the grid is a four feet grid 
So there's no way you can shift, right? So the next time we can start to explore in another workshop, how do we regulate this space which have been given, the noise have been given to civilization from day one, right? Just that it have been almost lost information. And it took me... Um, right. 50 over years to discover it from birth to today. <laughs> Thank you so much, Michael. Thank you for the generous gift as well. So audience, if you want to contact with Michael, his website is liveresearchwellness.com. So thank you so much for coming today, Michael. It has been a valuable session with you. Rahul, you, you have anything much, to say? Well, <clears throat> we just crossed over one hour and sure. I haven't exactly. spoken a lot. Thank you so exactly. much then. So everyone, let's keep in touch again and we look forward for the next session. Yes. Thank All right, guys. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. Take Love care. Love to everyone and have a bye nice. Bye. Uh, Thank you, Dave. Bye, bye, I mean, bye. For those bye. Are in the Thank you. About, right? Have a good night's sleep, everybody. And we catch up very soon. Thank you very okay. much. Bye. 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 Yes. Good night. Bye, bye. Bye, everyone. Bye, bye.